Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the most top of the line Class A gas motorhome that is also the shortest. This is a 2022 Fleetwood Bounder Model 33C. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Bounder and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is matt from matt's rv reviews it's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to rv and again today i am super excited to be taking a look at the most luxurious motorhome that is also the smallest the bounder but before i begin i would like to say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everyone how's it going it's going good Anytime I get to look at a Bounder, it's a great day. Yes, now what's special about this Bounder? Okay, you guys, this Bounder is located in Ocala. Yes. So it will be here for you guys to look at, test drive, and order off of. It's, we're starting a new program called the Floor Plan Model because RVs have been so hard to locate. So this way you can see it and you can order you can order a 35K off of this. You can order a 33C, but a lot of people just want to see it first, test drive yes. it and touch it. So super excited that we're doing that. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Bounder 33C. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 34 feet, three inches. This is the Fleetwood Bounder. It's a top of the line luxury motorhome. I love everything about it. It's Andrea's, would you say it's your favorite gas motorhome? Yes. Yes. There's so many nice features here. We do have the mobile eye collision mitigation, part of their technology package, make it a safe drive. Full body paint is the standard. I love the LED lights. Kind of gives you that Audi look. It's a really nice look. For 2022, Fleetwood didn't make too many changes. And for me, that's a big deal when it comes to the exterior. Coming down the side, we do have chrome mirrors on your left side and right side with cameras integrated in the side. Because it's a 2022, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8 engine. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. And then Andrea, guess what's really exciting about the new Bounder? What? New for 2022, you can actually option this motorhome with liquid spring. Wait. Doesn't Izzy and MJ have liquid springs on their motorhome? Yes, and what it is, it's the best suspension system for your motorhome. What liquid spring says is it's compressible liquid adaptive suspension system. This is gonna reduce road shock. It's gonna give you a big safety improvement with active suspension. It's gonna help fight with wind and sway, reduce road shock, and reduce maintenance on this F53 chassis. What I like to tell everybody is, part of the big thing from somebody going from a gas motor home to the diesel motor home is the air ride suspension. Well, now that liquid spring is an option on this top of the line gas motor home, that's really gonna bridge the difference to make it so you don't need to spend three, $400,000 to get a diesel motor home. The great part about it is liquid spring isn't cheap. It's a $28,000 option msrp of course what's what's so nice about it is instead of going to liquid spring and getting it put on out of pocket when you order it with a bounder uh it's put into the msrp so that's a great feature that it's a factory option isn't that's it that's a win-win for everybody and then look at these tires and dry they're the michelins oh forgot to mention uh when we go to fmca in wyoming we're actually going to be test driving a motorhome with liquid springs Yay. so Look at these tires, and Andrea, they're the Michelins. 235-80R22.5 with the shiny Alcoa rims. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, we do have frameless windows and a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Oh, great power awning with LED lights. I held the button the whole time and I didn't have to. It automatically came out. You have the LED light strip right there, right here. We do have a TV on the outside, Sansui. 
with sound bar. Oh, jinx. <laughs> and then check this out. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. There's your inverters and everything. Right there, Andrea, is a propane quick connect. If you want to have a grill on the I outside. I love, love the doors. Yes. And then check that out. Okay, nice pass-through storage. Oh, so nice. Oh. Look at this. I don't need to hold the button. The awning is automatically coming in. Is that because it's windy? Uh, no, because I oh, pushed okay, the button. Okay. But I do not think there's a wind sensor. Uh, I don't think so either. Right here we do have our water heater. I love how they continued to paint there. Looks great. Oh man, did we mention it was Alcoa rims? Yes. That's why they're so shiny. They look so good. And then coming down the side here is our propane tanks and Andrea. Bing! Right there is all the propane tank sizes, lengths, width, specs, everything about this motorhome. More storage right there. Ladder for the roof. Very nice. Where, where's the ladder at? I should have never told you that, huh? Dang, damn it, you got me. <laughs> and then look at that storage there. Oh, I got you. Got it? All right. Coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. We do have this ladder, which we all know how I feel about this ladder, okay? Uh, right here's your fuel fill up in the rear, so it's easy to access on both left side, right side. And, yeah. and reverse. Left side, right, no, that's the cameras. <laughs> um, it's easy to get to the fuel pump on both sides. Right there, we do have a 5,000 pound hitch, and you do have a backup camera there for a left side, right side, and reverse cameras. And we do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Wow, wow, that is a big stretch. Hey, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Here we go now. Hold on. Oh. Here we go. Up here on the roof, we can see this a nice one-piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right here is your Wi-Fi Ranger, your WineGuard 360 digital antenna, not one but two Max Air fans with covers, and then look at this solar panel that is already on the roof. Oh, I don't like this, Matt. Here we go now. Please take your time. Here we go. All right. Okay. Last two steps. Last one. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. And Matt, how long will you climb roofs for? Till the day I die, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Till the day I die. 50 amp power cord with the reel. We always option it with a reel. It is an option, but I love that feature. Surge guard protector right there, already installed. Cummins own man 5500 gasoline generator. Love the aluminum Ooh. slam latch doors. Right here's your outside system tank fill, low point valves, water filtration system, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Little bit more storage right there, not a ton. Here we got storage. Here we got storage. And then a little bit more there and there. And I lied, Andre. The potable water wasn't here. The potable was right there. Awesome. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great. But everybody knows it is the inside of the bounders that make it special. Let's go. Take a look. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,776 pounds. Wow. All right. Have I seen this color before? No, I, well, maybe. Okay, slide is in. Yes. Look at this, good walkway right here. Does get a little tight right here. And here is the bathroom. And yay, you can still use the bed with the slide in. <sighs> Okay. All right, let's get 
get these slide outs out. Yeah, so I'm super excited to go to FMCA. If you guys don't know about the FMCA rally, it is in Gillette, Wyoming, July 7th through the 10th or something like that. We're gonna be there at the Fleetwood display. So come and see us. Andre is gonna be there. We're all gonna be there to say hi to everybody. So make sure you guys join us there. And Andre, if you could wipe off the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Let's get started up front. Oh, actually no. I have another slide out to put out. Look how much it opens up. Wow. Also, yes, if anybody has any recommendations for Gillette, Wyoming, any restaurants or whatever, make sure you leave that in the comments below. We need to know, don't we, Andre? Yes, we do. <laughs> We've never been to Wyoming before. Nope. And we're going to, we're, we're flying in, not that anybody cares. We're flying into South Dakota. We're going to hit Mount Rushmore. We're going to take you guys along for the journey and then go to uh, Wyoming. Because it's right there. Andrea, check out. Oh man, the AC feels good. This is the nice 7.3 liter V8. We do have our auto leveling here and cup holders here. Now check it out, there's been a big change for Fleetwood and I don't know why they did it, but yeah. you had your camera here. The other camera was always right here, the other screen. They've now moved the screen right there, womp womp. I don't know why they did that. There might be a logistical reason why because of the new 7.3 liter V8. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. But again, it's not a deal breaker. You know so what I'm saying? So that's the camera right over there? Well, you can you have the screen there, but you can also see the screen here. Oh, but yeah. I yeah. liked it when it was both wrapped around, my opinion. Um, But you got cup holders right there. Yes. And then, Andre, you want to sit in my co-captain seat? Of course. All right, everybody. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, that's new too. Yes, it is. Is that sturdy? It is. It is. Oh, I it like is. that. Yeah, uh, it wasn't like that before. No, it was the crappy pullout. Yeah. I Very like that. nice. Um, let's see, we got a cup holder here. It feels different. Is it different, Matt? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, so that's. Hold you on. definitely have more leg space, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, and, and these seats do swivel, and it and this bottom piece is a footrest. Oh, wow. So, yeah. This Very is like nice. A little, yeah, recliner. Very kind of. nice. You have your mobile eye, collision mitigation, a TV right up there, a little bit of storage, not got much. Cubbies. Yeah. Yeah, and you got some storage right here. Yeah, again, not sides. much, but the TV's and right there. you still have a pedestal table that goes in between these seats. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. And then we do have a bunk over the cab. Simple with a push of a button. 500 pounds? Yes, yes. ma'am. And look at that. Very nice. Good for an adult to sleep yes. on. You got the ladder that goes with it. Yep, the ladder's in the bedroom. You know, this is a thin mattress, but I heard it's still pretty comfortable. And then you just push the button and it's a really nice bunk system. You know, uh, you got your speakers up there and everything. Oh, <sighs> and a TV. Yes. Oh, wait, I will say, look at the balances, you guys. They're cute. I like the balances. Do you like the balances? I do. I just said they were cute. And then check this out. We do have MCD privacy shades nice. and MCD daytime shades throughout the whole motorhome. Perfect. And then over here is the dinette. Check this out. So comfortable one of if not the most comfortable dinette in the industry how fleetwood makes it they don't just put two cushions on they actually put springs in their cushions so it's like sitting on a sofa you have your table right here this drops down so the whole thing can make a bed and you got cup holders here very nice a little bit of a smaller table but that's good for uh good or for bigger people you have and, yep yep Storage above. And storage in the dinette as well. Look, Matt. Where's that? Oh, the man. Bottom. That is super nice. We're also going to take a look at this storage. This is probably more like pantry space for the kitchen, but it's in a nice Multiple spot. Shelves. Very nice. Both of them? Yes. That's nice. It is. Very nice. And you know what, Andrea? I'm going to drop this down. Yes, show how easy it is. Show it. Show them how to do it. <laughs> we always say it's easy, right? So then it just slides. So you don't have to go through putting cushions in and playing Tetris. 
and having cushions pop out. So easy. Brand new. See? There you go. And then it stays in place. Yes. Very nice. And again, for a guest, it is a very comfortable alternative. And then over here, this one has been optioned with the theater seats. I love that. Very nice storage. Andrea, you said you like the balances. I do. I feel like this is the first time we've agreed. Uh -huh. I like them too. I like that they gave you like a little uh, end table here. Yeah, check that out. a cabinet with adjustable shelves. And that's real nice because then the theater seats are in a good position. You got a place for your remotes. Cup holders right there. And then... Oh, it... new furniture. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. And we are looking directly across the TV entertainment center. We do got some storage right there. TV and sound bar. And fireplace. Yes, what's nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat based off electricity. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is... $212,085 MSRP. Sale price, Andre, do you see a sale price there? I do not. No, because of the market right now, the market's so volatile, it, it's so hard to put an exact sale price on YouTube because this is the one 2022 that's gonna be the video for the whole year. And so the prices are always changing. But Andrea, we do have a sale price and Andrea, we do sell more Fleetwood Bounders than anybody else in the country is General RV. So if somebody wants to get the best price in America, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see your three contact selections. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV to get your mat cash. Once you fill out your form, somebody from my internet team will call you and get you the best price. If you're not ready to buy, not a problem. Please don't click tab number one. That's what tab number two is for. That sends an email to both me and Will, and we're here to help correspond with you to help you make the right buying decision. Or if you're not looking to buy at all and you just wanna get in contact with us, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if they work with my internet department or if they bring their Matt Cash coupon into the location with them, what's the one thing they'll always get? They'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea, let's continue it's the video. Hot here. It's getting hot in here. Okay. Uh, all right, so I love this. Look at the beautiful solid surface countertop and look at this backsplash. It's like matching. It's so pretty. It's so smart and well designed. Okay, I love this. Adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. And we got a window. I, I, I want to open it because, you know, I just love to have the panoramic windows in here. So nice. Look how pretty that is. Very pretty. Yes. We got the double sink. Man, those sink toppers are heavy, aren't they? They sure are. With an extension. Yes, ma'am. I could tell how heavy they were when you picked them up. Nice, solid surface countertops. Beautiful. Got a cabinet here. Yes, ma'am. shelves. Sponges. Okay trash cans in space and we got a max air fan and a cabinet up here yes convection microwave okay insignia all right and let's see what this is i bet you it's propane right yes three burner propane cooktop so this one has propane and for those of you who are wondering the, the southwind 34c will have the induction We've got a ooh, floors here. And you know what, you guys? I will say, at first, I was thinking this this wood... Did I miss those floors? You did. I blame it on the heat. Blame it on the heat. I At first, I didn't think I liked this wood, but I actually like it. It, it looks really good. Yeah, it's different. And, I, you know, it's yeah. pretty. And so we got a residential refrigerator that runs off your inverter here, Samsung. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. So nice. Very nice. And locks into place. We got, okay, this is interesting. Uh -oh. What did I do? Uh-oh. 
Oh, over tapes? here's the lock. Oh, I hate that. Over here. Oh, that's dumb. We would break that yeah. in a second. Okay. Very oh, nice. We did that. So now we're going to do the bathroom. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Into the bathroom we go. Into the bathroom we go. Oh, wait. This is actually a really roomy bathroom. Okay, because it's not a super roomy shower. Um, here's a shower. I, I really don't love this. It's a nice one piece fiberglass shower, but there is definitely, I'm totally fine this way, but to turn sideways, yeah, it's very, this is definitely a unique shower. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Two towel racks. I mean, it tricked me there because when I thought it was really small, then I came in and saw all this. Yes. Yes. So we got a medicine cabinet. Okay. Cute sink. Very cabinet high. there and then the toilet so it's now time for the toilet interesting Ned. well the toilet looks prime porcelain this is a prime pooping position Bing! finally nice. we did it we did it boys we okay. haven't had one in a while okay pocket door on the master here yes Nice wardrobe action going on. Action Jackson. Oh, wow. That is a good size. You got down there. I like the adjustable shelves. Yes. Here is another wardrobe. And we got shelves. Oh, there's cabinets under here. Oh, wow. Oh, look. It's oh, drawers. Boy. And then it looks like your fuse box. Yes. And then right here, we do have storage behind the TV. Okay. Okay. Nice little... Uh, Space right there to put your knickknack patty wax. Drawers oh, there. We got six drawers. Drawers there. Another cabinet under here. Yep, with more drawers. See, I think that's kind of silly. Well, actually, because now you is... can only. I don't like the drawers there because, yeah, that's funny. I'll tell you in a bit. And then right here, it's prepped for a combo washer dryer. Oh! Finally! That's a hundred and four dollar <laughs> trash can. Finally. Very nice. Storage right there. Mm. Nice window. Okay. It's a little hot. It is. I love the bed decorations. The cherry blossoms, the Very it looks cute. nice. It looks good with the wood. And I like that they gave you, you know, windows are great, cross ventilation. You got a little nightstand here with electrical outlet. And then look at that. Storage in a place for a CPAP wow. machine. Wow. I like, yeah. Very nice. Speakers. Also, if you look right there, there's power and USB. Also, there's a generator button. So, if you are boondocking somewhere and you have the generator on, you push a button and the generator will turn off while you're laying in bed. Awesome. Let's see if there's storage under the bed. Let's check it out. Yep, of course. There's your pedestal table. Yep. Yep. Nice. Well, Andrea, as nice as it is and as great as it is, this stupid thing. It's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go first. I actually have all three if I you don't have, have one. one. Okay, you go first. Okay, well in the bathroom here, I don't like that. This is a higher end motorhome and I feel like there should be a seat in the shower. It um, is not very only, small. Yeah. It is it is small. That was one of my dislikes. I do not like yeah. that shower whatsoever. For me personally, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because I don't shower in the motorhome. I shower in the bathhouse because it's bigger. Um, but yeah, like I did not like the size of that shower. But if you want the smallest, that's what you gotta compromise with. Yep. Number two, this is kind of stupid. I don't like these drawers. Because this is lipped out, like you know what I'm saying? Like you can't put nothing in those drawers because it's the same on that side and on because that side. Because of the cabinet here. Yeah, be because like... of this part, you know? It's kind of, that's kind of really dumb. I, I didn't mind it for that one, but see it on that side was really stupid. And I'm gonna combo that with the ladder. We never liked these ladders back here. And it's really kind of, kind of stupid if you ask me. And then, so that's two. And then number three is this right here. I. I don't want to say that I don't like this. I don't mind it. I just really liked being a commander in the uh, in the older bounders. You know what I'm saying with the side by with, with the screen there and the screen there. 
This one, again, it's totally fine and I would not not buy this motorhome because of that. I just don't prefer that. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Ready for me to go first? Sure. So because of that, because they switched all this up, I actually really like this. This is stir, this is sturm. What What's sturm mean? Sturdy. This is sturdy and firm. Very nice, I can work on the computer here. It's plenty elevated. If you guys remember on the older Bounders, you like the pulled it out pull here out, yeah. and your legs couldn't be under it. It was a really stupid setup. So this one is really, really nice. And all this flat space up here, yes. it's gonna- They changed the whole dashboard. Yeah, yeah. And there's pros and cons to it. So that's one. Andrea <gasps> two. Oh, what, what can I say? What can you say? <laughs> Well, it's a bounder. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I really do love um, the colors in here. I thought mm -hmm. I, at first when I came in, I was like, oh, I don't know. But you know what? I like it. Yep. I, I like it because it's different. Yep. I don't see this color of wood a lot. I think the backsplash is beautiful. Yep. The countertop. I think the balances are adorable. And Andrea, what's really funny is this is Fleetwood's brown palette. They have a gray palette and like a white palette. Mm -hmm. Every palette they do just looks beautiful absolutely you know what I'm saying um it's just really nice with what they do and everything so that's two and then Andrea number three do we give it to the dinette I feel like that's yeah. not you know we're gonna combo I it. Ha you have to because they're the only one that really does that yes so sitting at the dinette's important people do that the fact that they actually put springs in the dinette is a big plus and let's step outside I just love 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 the full body paint the aluminum slam latch doors grounder is the pinnacle it is one of the nicest class a motorhome dollar for dollar the luxury that you're getting is second to none well andrea that's it that's the review thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this fleetwood bounder please call text send me an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a luxury class A gas motorhome like this one, we're gonna put the Bounders competitors right there and there. And you know what, Andrea? We're also gonna link Izzy and MJ's video of their uh, liquid springs on their motorhome so you can see what it's all about because it's just a really cool feature. Andrea, or it's a really cool option. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Uh, Fleetwood does read the comments, you guys. So, you know, of course, we're, they're always interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank and you. And thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next, next time.